there's the catheter going right into the cervix, right there. That little sheet of mucus is there across stuff from it. Mm -hmm. okay, so there's the cervix. There you can see the catheter. Mm -hmm. Going right through there, I, you can see the marking on lines on the catheter going through. Now what this is doing is depositing it. I'm going to tell you everything. They criticized my surgical AI technique. <laughs> so you're putting it right up at the base of the uterus. I'm actually putting it right into you. My catheter is probably pretty close to being up by her kidney. One thing you'll notice show, there. Show that. Now, one thing you'll notice there is that, uh, you know, everything's staying in the uterus. Uh huh. Not wasting it. <laughs> right. So how does it get from there clear down here? Is there an air pushing it? No, there's actually a, that through the catheter I put through that you saw go through the cervix. Let me just show you here. Because it seems like the volume there would. Up this tube, but no, actually, it's the whole catheter takes two tenths of an ml. Oh, wow. So basically, oh, we're putting it about right there. Right. Oh, okay. yeah. mm. This catheter, you see a pretty small catheter. Oh, the the whole see. catheter takes right. two, I say two tenths. There's just a slight amount of drop of air in there, too, which helps push it through. So I better take my sheath out. 200 microliters. We can waste that. Yes. But we didn't <laughs> waste it. There's actually a little air to make sure, but we don't want to put too much air. You don't want to blow all this thing back out. <laughs> True. Mm. Great. So, wow. these, the breeding 